I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And with these two talented centers, that's a matchup that could be the deciding factor in this game. And you can bet that both these bigs are looking to control the glass, win the possession battle. Yeah, and with all that jostling for position, they'll need to be careful about staying out of foul trouble. They are both way too valuable to be sitting on the bench. Now here's Jefferson. Rossi outside. Back to Jefferson. No good on the triple. Here's New York now. Pass to Ionescu. Just five on the clock. Back to Stewart. Three-pointer. First shot, first basket. He is out of the block fast cannot fall asleep when guarding Brianna Stewart from downtown. She has the kind of range you simply have to respect. Now here's Griner. And that one's off. She misses her first shot of the game. Up top, Vandersloot. And the three off target. Just like me, Nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone like that. That one, good for two. Not your average six-footer. Onion Wede plays Sophie way Cunningham. bigger than her listed height. Plays the game with fire. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Well, it's all about breaking the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here is Ionescu. Pass to Laney. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. You see, some players will try to overpower you at the rim, but she likes to elude you and trick you. She's got quickness and a soft touch. What's up? Well, after a solid rookie season, John Quell Jones had a breakout second year in 2017, setting a WNBA record with almost 12 boards a game. Reiner with the screen. Here's to Rossi. Ooh, no luck on that one. And New York will come the other way. Now here's Laney. She's guarded closely. And her salute outside. Stewart with the screen. Nine foot shot, buries the jump shot. And John Quell Jones, one most improved player during that 2017 season. And more than doubling her scoring average. Jones made serious leaps that 2017 season, starting to show that MVP level impact that Jones has on a game. Now here's Jones. And she converts the layup. A rugged player, Jones gives you 100% effort every night. Come on, I mean, a little bump, it's not gonna deter her. So Rossi with it, covered by Ionescu. Back to Jefferson. Pass to Tarasi. To halt the run! After two misses to start the game, she's on the board with that shot. Rarely seems rattled or off of her game. Rossi makes putting the ball in the basket look effortless. Now here's Laney. And it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the bank. Jefferson outside. Pass to Tarasi. Shot from the top of the key. That one wide left. 
We don't see that too often. Plenty of space and she whips on an open jumper. Rockwell Jones from long range. That's in and she's now three for three and looking sharp. Arguably the best passer in today's game. Vander Sloot really excels at finding her teammates when they're wide open. Rossi outside. Pass to Griner. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jones. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Griner, guarded by Jones. And here's Cunningham. Shot clock at five. Now here's Tarasi. A nice shot by Griner. What a physical presence down low. Griner's not afraid of anyone when she's around the basket. Andrew Slute outside. Pass to Laney. Jones with it. Andrew Slute outside. Stewart with the screen. Vander Sloot's shot is off. The Mercury Trail. Up top to Rossi, covered by Ionescu. To Rossi with it. Now on Yenwede. There's the triple. Sabrina Ionescu with the rebound. outside. Screen by Stewart. Pass to Jones. Fires from the wing. Jump shot is good. Taking what she gets on offense, like seeing Jones make use of the mid-range in this possession. Since the first season of WNBA basketball back in 1997, we've had so many changes. One constant, the New York Liberty, an original team. Now here's Onion Wade. Reiner. Here's to Rossi. Lays it up and yeah, banks it in. Doing some work in the paint. We don't always see that from Tarasi, who's at uh, six feet. And the Liberty have been in New York since the beginning. And that is a true testament to their fans. They have stuck with the Liberty since day one, providing tremendous support for one of the cornerstones of the league. And that's a foul called on Jefferson. Close. That is her first foul. foul of the game. Substitution on the court. <laughs> on defense, Phoenix. They trail by six. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Sutton. Reiner with the screen. Now Turner over Stewart. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Great recognition from Turner right there. Knew how much time she had and let it rip on the catch and shoot. Now here's Vandersloot. Stewart inside. Defended by Turner. They get it back. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. Tip your hat to Stewart, maybe the best player in the world. She still does the extra little dirty work inside. Pass to Griner. And it's Golson with the rebound. New York leading. Vandersloot with it. Now Dolson takes the three, and that comes off the assist by Courtney Vanderson. Her rookie year in 2014, Dolson didn't make a single three. Year four was 2017, and she was third in the WNBA in three-point shooting. What a transformation. And the shot goes in. And here is Vandersloot. Gordon outside. Vandersloot. Pass to Dolson. And here is Willoughby. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Vandersloot. And 
again. It's New York with a three. They made one bucket after another since the game this game started. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet, Tim. I, I wouldn't go that far, but it has been pretty ugly so far. Sure. It's good. And so it's New York with it. Eight-point game. Sanders loot outside. Outside, Stewart. Off the mark there with the three. Jefferson outside. Pass to Westbrook. Turner. Now Griner. Defended by Stewart. Shot from the low block. That one is off. And so the first quarter in the book. It's the Liberty up by eight. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. start up and taking a look at the Liberty performance here guys what are your thoughts I love the effort on the glass right out of the gate from them and it takes effort from all five players to get a rebounding advantage like this here's Ionescu no scoring yet from her but that's likely to change Back to Jones. And a great assist by Laney as that one goes in. Total dominance by Jones tonight. She loves getting to her spots and finding a rhythm. Jonquel Jones, league MVP back in 2021. The first international player, the first player outside of the United States to win the award in more than 10 years. Jones making a giant impact on both ends of the floor. And that one's good. Looking comfortable operating in the post. Tarazi has a great sense of when to attack from this area on the court. Now here is Ionescu. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. To the middle. Here's Jones. Pass to Dolson. The kick out to Ionescu. Just two to shoot. Good on the three-point shot. During that MVP season, Jonquil Jones did a little bit of everything. Yeah, traditional stats-wise, I mean, she led the league in rebounding, top five in scoring, top ten in blocks, and then some of the more advanced metrics, she led the league in defensive rating. So 2021, it was just an incredible season for Jones. Sutton, no good. Pass to Willoughby. Here's Ionescu. Outside. Wilson with the screen. Screen Ionescu from outside. And it's Cunningham with the rebound. And the Mercury with possession. They trail by 11. Rossi outside. The rebound by the Liberty. Even though she missed it, she couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, they don't come much easier than that. Jones. That shot off. And the Mercury going the other way now. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. Here's Sutton, guarded by Dolson. That's good by Tarasi. Well, she's the all-time leader in threes made in league history. But you might not want to let Diana Tarasi get off shots from range. Now here is Ionescu. Pass to Jones. Back to Ionescu. From downtown. And again, it's the Liberty missing the Mercury Trail. Now Cunningham. 
quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Now here's Laney. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Well, over her first four years in the league, Benijah Laney averaged just three points per game. But then in 2020, she blew up during year five, scoring 17 points per game. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And Benijah Laney, one of the great stories from the 2020 Bradenton bubble. Well, those 17 points per game were not a fluke. I mean, Laney made the All-Star game the next year, 2021. Benijah has turned herself into a premier wing. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. All right, talking specifically about guards here, who do you guys think is the best defender in the backcourt? I'm going with Ariel Atkins. She's an all-defensive member in every WNBA season she's played in, and she plays with incredible effort and intelligence on the defensive end. She's a player that never gets tired. Atkins is great, but I'll go with Brittany Sykes. Tremendous length, basketball IQ. Most importantly, every night, Sykes leaves it all out on the floor. Well, finding an open teammate, good recognition by Willoughby. And so here's Phoenix, a 12-point game. Pass to Onion Wade. Jonquel Jones with the block, and she recovers it. Second chance shot. And Jones pulls it down. Here's New York now. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Yanescu outside. Off target with the three. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Down by 12. Pass to Tarasi. And here's Sutton. Six to shoot. Baseline try. The Mercury with another miss. Laney with it. Yanescu outside. Pass to Willoughby. To the inside. On with the ball. Over on Yanwede. True on the 14 footer. That 6'6 six, six high coming in handy for Jones, able to see the floor well and rotate it to the open player. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Well, the coaches, they clearly don't like what's going on there, and they want to talk things over. And why wouldn't they talk things over? I mean, really, you had to take a timeout there and just try to take away some of the opponent's momentum. on D. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Pass to Westbrook. Now to Rossi. Now here's Onion Wade. Defended by Stewart. Count that one. Wiley Vet to Rossi. Incredible court vision. And here's Vandersloot. Five points in the game. On. She's guarded by Griner. Yanescu gets the bucket. Just the way they wanted, within touching distance of the rim. Here's Jefferson. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Here's Greiner. Laid in with a nice touch on the glass. I'm not sure, really, in that set, who was supposed to be on her there. And apparently, neither did the defenders. 
Ionescu outside. An easy two points on the layup. Given Ionescu's soft touch around the rim, defenses have to be extra careful about letting her inside. Passed on Yunwede. Now here's Griner. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Just five to shoot. Tarasi. From deep. No good that time. On offense, here are the Liberty. They lead by 14. Ionescu outside. Thornton. The shot that time, not on target. Now Phoenix takes it the other way. Big by Anunwede. To the right side. Reiner. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Well, with the wingspan of over seven feet and three inches, Reiner's got mad length, and she really knows how to use it. Now here's Ionescu. She's got seven. Down low, here's Han. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. Pass to Tarasi. Onion way day. Griner, he's covered by Han. Now here's Jefferson. Here's Griner. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Six seconds separating the shot and game box. Andrew Slute outside. Here's Stewart. Score the basket for third after five shots. Well, you have to be aware of Stewart around the rim. She's just too good at attacking opponents' weak spots. Up top to Rossi. 18 feet away, and she knocks it down. Well, I mean, let's be honest. If you're waiting for her to miss when she's that open, you're going to be waiting a very long time. And the first half now in the books. Liberty out front. They lead by 12. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit. Welcome back. About to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. You know, John Quill Jones has been exceptional here, guys. Her play in the first half was very disciplined, very efficient. Her shot selection was consistently excellent. That's right. And uh, whether it's been from mid range or in tight, she's taking only what the defense is giving her and not trying to do too much. Oh, Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. Yanescu up top. She's covered by Tarasi. Now Yanescu. Pass to Stewart. Good on the bucket. She's got so many tricks in her bag. She will find a way to hurt you. Playing for a Russian club team back in 2019, Brianna Stewart tore her Achilles during the European title game, the final game of the season. Reiner, shot's good. Well, she's been a bright spot in what has otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. Laney outside. 
pick by Jones. From the baseline, Anyan Wade grabs the board. Well, unfortunately for Stewart, she missed the entire 2019 WNBA season. Yeah, the good news, Stewie's come back even better, winning the title in 2020. The returning from that season's injury is really incredible. Tells you a bit about Stewart's dedication to be the best. Now here's Jefferson. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Tarasi. Well, Jones is seemingly always lurking around to block shots. She reads the opponent and reacts accordingly. Ionescu outside. Launches a three. Here's Jones. Count that one as her seventh make in eight attempts. That's a scorching 86%. And it's the Mercury with the ball. It's a 14-point game. Now here's Onion Wade, defended by Stewart. This one for three, sinks the triple. Well, you go back to her college days, when Onion Wade has put a lot of work into her three-point shot, and we're seeing the results. Vandersloot right side. Inside, Jones. Count it. Dan, she's now eight of nine from the field. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's on your way day. She has seven. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Courtney Vandersloot. It can be so deflating to miss a wide open look like that. Rebounded by Phoenix. That's a surprise. Out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. Onion Wade with it. Guarded now by Laney. Pass to Tarasi. Onion Wade. Griner up top. Tarasi outside. And here's Griner. Guarded by Jones. Griner's shot is off. Stewart, score the bucket. She's made five so far, shooting a nifty five for seven. What a move. Watching Stewart doing things like that, you can forget she's 6'4". And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. But even with the game well in control, they're still going right at the rim. You know, I love that mentality. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Side. Shoots over Vandersloot. The Mercury with another miss. And the Liberty with possession here. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Pass to Laney. Shot clock at six. Willoughby with it. Beyond the arc. The basket good off the assist from Jonquel Jones. Yeah, Willoughby is such an efficient scorer. Gets the ball and effortlessly drills the shot. Turner a screen. Here's Cunningham, defended by Laney. Jefferson left side. They need this! And again, Phoenix no good. Pass to Vandersloot. And the ball out of play is the Mercury will have. The ball goes to Phoenix. Both teams will make substitutions. And the Mercury with possession. They trail by 18. Reiner with the ball, guarded by Jones. A 
and nice shot by Griner. Lighting it up again. Griner led the WNBA in scoring for a reason. She's expanded her offensive game. Pass to Jones. Laney on the wing. Back to Jones. Sutton with the rebound. Here's Jefferson. Vandersloot defending. And here's Sutton. Reiner with the screen. The 10-footer. Another shot. And the layup is good. Perseverance, it always pays off on the offensive glass. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Laney, good. A wing who will stretch the floor. Laney, very effective from beyond the arc. And so here's Phoenix. 17-point game. Pass to Sutton. To the paint. Reiner shoots over Jones. Reiner, shot is good. Unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Now here is Dolson. Dolson sets a screen. Here's Stewart. She drains it from the right block. Over the last few seasons, the average salary of WNBA players has significantly risen. The average salary in 2022, it's more than the maximum salary in 2017, just five years earlier, which is a great, great sign for the league. That's key for many reasons. The less players that go overseas, the less injuries you will see. And that starts with salaries in the WNBA. So both teams making some changes here. Trying to add a few more points to their lead. And it's not rocket science at this point. Just stay with what you've been doing. Now here is Thornton. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And the three ball is good. Testing her limits. Lady was way back there on that one. Pass to Westbrook. Now Turner, guarded by Dolson. Turner with the ball, working on Dolson. Turner with the bucket. That's the area where they'd like all their shots to come from. And so it's New York with it. They led by as many as 18 points. Back to Vandersloot. Just four to shoot. Back to Lady. Let's it go from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. We should all have the green light. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Sutton. Trying her luck from deep. They get it back. And here's Jefferson. Shoots over Vandersloot. Jefferson, no good. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. A unique type of player, Laney, so tough to guard. And this is her third and fourth free throw attempts of the game here. Two shots. And the first one falls for her. And the Mercury making a change here. And she makes both free throws. 
A great underdog story. Delaney, a bench player, a second round pick. She has blossomed into a premier scorer. Rossi outside. Pass to Westbrook. From about 19 feet. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. It's the Liberty delivering the blowout. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Some floor generalship right here, guys, showing us why they're always in good hands when she's in charge. Yeah, she's the straw that stirs the drink for them, and, and that's how she does it with her dynamite passing skills. And we welcome you back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Stolen by Sabrina Inescu. Vandersloot left side. Sabrina Inescu from outside. And that comes off the assist by Courtney Vandersloot. And as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. And it really could get out of hand because their defense has been just as excellent as their offense. Great overall game. And so it's New York with it. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Pass to Jones. Inescu up top. Five on the clock. Courtney Vandersloot for three. That shot missing. Now Phoenix takes it the other way. Now here's Griner, guarded by Jones. Right block shot, and Jones pulls it down. Ionescu outside. Pass to Vandersloot. Ionescu. Pick by Jones. Out to the left wing. Hits the three-point bomb. One of the best young playmakers in the league. Ionescu makes passes that other players simply can't. They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They gotta score. Tarasi gets the bucket. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Now here is Ionescu. She's covered by Tarasi. Ionescu has it. Mr. Ball needs Mr. Basket for a fifth happy pairing of the game. She's five for nine. And the Mercury call time here. Over the years, we've seen rules and format changes adopted by the WNBA that eventually end up in the NBA. Yeah, the W is really ahead of the NBA in those respects. How about the playing tournament that we've seen that everyone loves in the NBA? It was inspired by the old WNBA playoff format. Lots of talk about, uh, you know, maybe a mid-season NBA tournament, very similar to the Commissioner's Cup as well. The WNBA always at the cutting edge when it comes to pro basketball. Here's Cunningham. Pass to Griner. Nice pass, led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. You want to stop Griner when she's attacking the hoop? Didn't think so. Too much coming at you. Ionescu outside. Now here's Dolson. Outside for Stewart. It falls for her seventh bucket of the contest. She's seven for nine today. Veteran move by Brianna Stewart, using the pick to get free and find her shot. Here's Onion Wade. The rebound by the Liberty. Jones outside. Ionescu. And they pick up two. Well, you know, offensively, Brian, they've been really 
special. Yeah, you nailed it, Tim. No matter what the defense has thrown at them, they've just kept piling up the points. And more points. Now, here's Griner. And yes, he's got the English that time as it falls. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. Ionescu outside. Pass to Jones. Outside Stewart. Willoughby. Outside for Stewart. The fader. Again, the Liberty good for two. The mid-range jumper, something I love to see. Stewart's game is multifaceted, and I'm really not surprised to see her knock that one down. Now here's Onion Wade. Up and in on the layup. That's a great job, it's really, to, to angle her body, shield the bigger player from the ball on her way to the basket. And you have to know how to finish like that if you're going to take it down low. And she showed all the capabilities of doing so. Jones inside. Reiner's there. Jones inside. Reiner's there. The offensive rebound. Pass to Dolson. Here's Stewart. Ionescu. The three. Now here's Willoughby. The three is up. They get it again. Jones. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. Here's Westbrook. She's covered by Willoughby. Screened by Griner. Here's Westbrook. Second shot opportunity. Not going to go that time. And New York will come the other way. Pass to Ionescu. Now Willoughby. Here's Dolson. The kick out to Ionescu. That one falls coming off Stephanie Dolson's team. Since the start of the fourth, Brian, that three-point shot has really been there for them. Yeah, doing an excellent job, Tim, of finding the open teammate on the perimeter this quarter. The three-pointer is a major weapon for them right now. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the court. On defense, New York. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Pass to Cunningham. And there it is. Plays with lots of movement offensively. Great from the perimeter, but also capable of doing damage inside. Now here's Willoughby. Norton outside. Here's Hahn. She's guarded by Griner. And here's Ionescu. Bucket is good. Well, she's been reliable again today. They need her points, and she's providing them. And here's Westbrook. Screen by Griner. And it's blocked by Stephanie Dolson. A tremendous shot blocker. Dolson's length at 6'5 and defensive IQ. Lead to swap. Phoenix. Should second. Four on the shot clock. Off the left rim and out. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. Back to Ionescu. Pass to Willoughby. Ionescu outside. On. From outside the arc. And again, it's New York with a three. We're seeing the shots dropping for them very well now. Yeah, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up to this point. Their coach has to be happy. Here's Sutton. Here's Greiner. It's good. Yeah, anytime the shot comes from that range, the offense has done its job. Thornton outside. 
Ionescu. Pass to Han. Here's Willoughby. Three, Kayla Thornton. Drains it from beyond the arc. Well, you have to run Thornton off her shot. You simply cannot let her get comfortable in the catch and fire. Here's Westbrook. And here's Cunningham. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Thornton outside. Back to Ionescu. The tray. Reiner with the rebound. Now Westbrook. Pass to Sutton. It's stolen by Hahn. And they can just sit on the ball here. Enjoy it. They burn the win. No doubt. Horton with it. Reiner's there. Back to Inescu. Now here is Thornton. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were better basketball team by far. You gotta commend this sort of dominance here at home and feeling great. Playing well nearly the whole game. And I, I could feel it. This building was pumped, guys. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.